Greetings everyone. So here's something fun. A manga reader made from scratch with custom PCBs and 3D printed parts. The brain of this project is an ESP12F module which is an ESP8266 based Wi-Fi module connected to an ELE9225 LCD screen to display black and white manga panels. Manga is a style of Japanese comic books and graphic novels, typically aimed at young adult or adult audience. It is characterized by a distinctive visual style, which often features exaggerated facial expression, large eyes, and dynamic panel layout. Manga cover a wide range of genre, including action, adventure, romance, comedy, drama, and more. Also, do hit that subscribe button. I've currently added a few pages of Way of House Husband to the manga reader device. The ESP12F minimal setup is linked to power management IC for power and an LCD screen which is controlled by the ESP8266 board. The code contains section of each slide or manga panel that are run in a sequential loop. This video will explain how this entire concept came to be and how you can make it in few easy steps. All the documents including the code, CAD files, etc. can be found on this projects page. Link is in video description. Now let's get started. It all began with a straightforward Node MCU and ELE9225 display setup that was being used to sequentially display a few images. When the thought stuck, what if we could display a series of comic panels, specifically manga panels? In order to test this, a few manga panels were downloaded and cropped to 176 by 220 pixels because the ELE9225 we are using comes in that size. After resizing the image, we run them through the image to C converter. It basically turns images into C code, which we then include in the main code, which then run each image one by one in a loop. We connect Node MCU with the ELE9225 display with this pinout. Also, we need to install this library in order to run the sketch. The link to the library and other detail can be found on this project page, which you can download. The link is in video description. The level 1 was this. In level 2, the ELE9225 display will be driven by a basic ESP12F setup and the battery functionality will be added to make this system portable and useful. In Fusion 360, we first create a simple 75 by 95 mm wide PCB model. Then we create a rectangular enclosure around it that will support the PCB from the top side and contain a lithium ion cell from the bottom. I exported the STL files for 3D printing the enclosure and its lid with brown PLA with 0.6 mm nozzle and 0.2 mm layer height. For making PCB, I used the model's DWG file which was later used in PCB CAD software to make the board outline during the editing process. This project's PCB design include an ESP12F minimal setup that connect to an ELE9225 display. The ESP12F minimal setup consists of few raster pulling down the GPIO15 to ground, then pulling up the reset pin, enable pin and the GPIO0 to 3.3 volt. An IP5303 IC setup, a power management IC that converts 3.7 volt of a lithium cell battery to 5 volt for charging smartphone or powering any 5 volt device, is used to power the ESP setup. The ESP8266 is a 3.3 volt device, so providing it 5 volt will instantly fry the chip. To solve this issue, we add an AMS1117 3.3V voltage regulator setup that step down the 5V from IP5303 to 3.3V to allow the ESP to function as intended. Following the completion of schematic, the board was created using PCB model DWG file and then sent to PCB way for manufacturing. After the PCB design was completed, the Gerba data was generated and then sent to PCB way for samples. An order was placed for PCBs with white solder mask and black seal screen, as it looked pretty cool in general. The PCBs were received within a week and they were excellent as expected. Really love the quality of PCBs made by PCB way. There are other manufacturers available, but their service is always on another level. 
Check out PCB way for getting great PCB service at less cost. Board assembly process begin by first adding solder paste to each component pad one by one. Next, using a ESD tweezer, we pick and position each SMD component in their designated location. Following that, we carefully lifted the entire circuit board and sat it down on the mini SMT hot plate, which is also custom made like this project. It heats the PCB from below up to the solder paste melting temperature. As soon as the PCB reaches that temperature, solder paste melt and all the components are connected to their pads. Next, we add CON11 header pin to its pad and solder it using a regular soldering iron. The board assembly process is then finished by soldering the USB micro port in its place. We are using 2 inch TFT display which is powered by the ELE 9225 driver. The ELE 9225 is a driver IC that is used for controlling small medium sized TFT LCDs. It support display with resolution up to 176 by 220 pixels and 18 bit color depth. This display very low refresh rate make it unsuitable for running any project involving any missions. Instead, we can use the ELE 9341 display or a similar LCD if you want to run GIF or videos without shuttering. We made some PCB changes prior to flashing including rewiring the LCD pin with an ESP12F module. We disconnected the traces mentioned here and added the silver copper wire to connect LCD pins to the ESP8266 IO pins because of some connection were made during the preparation of schematic in a way that prevented the LCD from functioning. The wiring is now corrected after the mentioned modification. So we can now test this board and flash the ESP12F module with the main code. You might not aware that any ESP board can be programmed using a Node MCU board. By taking Node MCU board and connecting a jumper with its ground pin and enable pin, we can put the onboard ESP8266 of the Node MCU into sleep mode. And we may utilize the Node MCU to program an external ESP12F module in this case. This enables us to connect an ESP board to Node MCU. So essentially, we are turning off the ESP board on the Node MCU and connected a second ESP board to a few of its pin. I have made a video about this whole process which you can check out from here. We are using a 3.7V 2.5AH lithium ion cell as the power source and we are connecting its positive and negative terminal to the IP5303 setup's battery CON2 pin from the bottom side. When we press the IP5303 IC's button, the entire setup turns on and the manga reader start to function and display a panel of manga. The project is now finished and all that left to do is to incorporate the circuit into the 3D enclosure. The battery is first inserted into the enclosure from the top side before the PCB is added. Next, we use two M2 screws to hold the PCB in its place. The device is then turned and the hot glue is added to the lithium cell to hold it in its place. Finally, the lid is added to the back side of enclosure and fastened with four M2 screws to complete the assembly process. The result of this build is a pocket manga reader that continuously loop through a panel of manga. Yes, the image quality is not best and it required a tedious process of converting each image into C code and then combining that code to make a single long code and then flash it into the ESP8266 board. The best thing about this display is the extreme overkillness and how we are able to create a display device that could be used for XYZ things in addition to just displaying comics. This device is essentially a portable display with Wi-Fi module that can be used to do all sort of things from gathering weather information from internet to getting time. It has numerous uses. Version 2 of this project will have a larger LE 9341 display and a slim form factor because the previous version use of lithium ion cell which has an 18 mm diameter made the device body a little bit thicker. By switching to a lipo cell we are able to make this device slightly slimmer. Do leave a comment if you need any help regarding this project. This is it for today folks. 
thanks pcb way for supporting this project you guys can check them out if you need great pcb service and stencil service for less cost and great quality and i'll be back with a new project pretty soon peace out